how airflow affects the flow of moisture in a building. To understand how moisture flows in a building, we have to understand some simple properties of air mixed with water. We know warm air can hold more moisture than cold air. The temperature at which the moisture starts to condense is called the dew point. At the dew point, the air is completely saturated with moisture and can't hold any more. So we call the dew point 100% relative humidity. We think of relative humidity as a measure of the amount of moisture in the air relative to the amount of moisture it can hold at that temperature. If air that is at 100% relative humidity is heated, the relative humidity decreases. That's because at the higher temperature, air can hold more moisture. Moisture enters and leaves the building in several ways. In some cases, construction moisture may be retained in the building envelope. Ground moisture can enter the building. HVAC systems and other mechanical equipment can all generate excess moisture. Maintenance activities generate airborne water vapor. So do commercial kitchens, lavatories, swimming pools, fountains, and plants. And active people are still another source of indoor moisture. Another way airborne moisture moves through a building is as the result of air leakage. Since the moisture is in vapor form and mixed in with the air, if air leaks into a building or out of a building, so will the moisture. Moisture carried in or out of a building due to air leakage can be 10 times to 100 times greater than moisture transferred by diffusion. Because moisture is carried in air, the three pressure differential effects that create airflow, the wind effect, the stack effect, and the mechanical effect, also control the flow of moisture. If the building is air sealed, less moisture will be released to the outside. So, in a well-sealed building, where exfiltration is reduced, it's important to control moisture inside the building to avoid such conditions as condensation on the windows, mold or mildew on surfaces, and hidden moisture that over time may cause structural deterioration. Airborne moisture may cause hidden damage when driven into places like wall cavities or ceiling plenums. If surface temperatures fall below the dew point, moisture will condense and cause corrosion or rot. Moisture can stain ceilings or finished surfaces and create damage that is hidden from sight. Here's what